Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. In this video, we're going to discuss do our livestock really need shade? We're going to set up scenarios on how you can get your livestock to shade if needed. We're going to check and see if the stress level in the cows to see if we need to move them to shade. It's 86 degrees here today. It's towards the end of May. A lot of the cows are still carrying a, some of their winter coat. Some of them are still pregnant. And that, this here is the time of year that we have the most heat stress in the herd. It's not in August whenever we have 95, 96 degree weather. It's usually in the spring here, spring of the year. Now this, this big old girl here, she's our heat stressor in the bunch. You're going to know which one, you know, you're going to know your cows that are stressing for you the most. We want to check our respiration rates. And what we do is we count our respirations for six seconds. Okay. She's breathing her respiration rate. I counted 10 breaths in six seconds. We times that by 10. She has 100 breaths per minute. 100 is the, the borderline of whether or not we should take them to shade or not. Uh, usually I let them get to 120 or a little bit more. But if you come out and you have a bunch of cows with their tongues hanging out and wanting or standing at the water tub, you know that they need to get back to shade and get back to shade quickly. We have 100 respirations on, on a cow that's breathing the hardest in the herd, so we're not going to really worry about it. And we're going to set up some scenarios here for you to and show you how and if we need to get the cows back to shade. If we look in the Penn State Agronomy Guide, in the Penn State Agronomy Guide, it will tell you that your livestock don't need shade more than a couple days out of an entire year. And whenever I first read that, I thought they were crazy. And so once I started calculating and watching and watching grazing behavior, because a lot of times whenever, if you give them access to the woods, it corresponds whenever they're roomating and they'll go to the woods to roommate and move your soil and move your soil nutrients to the woods so there's one of the it's kind of a, an iffy thing but i found that i've i've set fence and alleyways back to shade for cows you know if and i'm going to show you those scenarios here in this video but uh, and i'll talk a little bit more about it but i set alleyway and got water into a shade for cows here on, on a few different occasions because I thought that they really needed shade and it ended up that around nine o'clock in the morning they start roommating and from nine to about eleven o'clock they roommate so they go to shade to roommate and just hang out and move your soil nutrients to the woods and then at around 11 o'clock those cows move back out into the field and start grazing again and now on super super hot days yeah they may stay in the shade a little bit longer but we've had on 95 degree days with no wind we've had cows that actually the whole herd goes back out at one two o'clock in the afternoon and they start grazing again so you know the grazing behavior and what we think that the cows need for shade is is a couple different things so let me get the cows moved here they're getting a little bit impatient come on girls come on girls we're gonna move them here then we'll talk a little bit more about whether or not we need shade or not.
Come on, cow. Come on. Some of those girls that have calves and whenever they're nursing they don't like to move too quickly. One of another tip that we I have for you here, another thing that we do here on the farm is whenever we have the real hot days we'll go out and move the cows at the hottest time of the day and then that will spread them out because they have the tendency to want to group together whenever it gets really hot and the fly loads pretty heavy. We're going to do a video on flies too. Because we do very little, we do little, very little here on the farm for flies. Here's a shot of the calves, or a lot of the calves. This little girl here was a surprise to us. She's three quarter black Angus, twelve and a half percent Brahma. And 12 and a half percent Hereford. So where do you guys think that red came from? She's a pretty little girl. Okay guys, one of the things that we do here to, to help with the bunching and stress itch, issues whenever have these hot, extreme hot days, we will move them at the hottest time of the day. Whether we're moving them four times a day, if we're moving them twice a day, we move them at the hottest time of the day. It will be between one and two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, on our second move, this we're in this field here. We're just moving twice a day. We're getting a really good graze on it, so I'm not getting too too worried about it. We're moving them four times a day. We'll move them first thing in the morning. We'll move them around eleven o'clock, one o'clock. And then we'll move them again about 3, 3.30. Sometimes 4 o'clock, depends on how busy we are. So that's one of the tricks, keeping them distributed, because they're going to want to bunch on you if it gets a little bit warm. Another thing we do is we keep a small water tank. And not only does that small water tank help us in the wintertime, it helps us in the summertime as well. It's filled, filled to 13 gallons. We've watered up to 120 animal units in it. It has a high flow valve. But if you take the temperature of this water, this water temperature is around 60, 65 degrees all the time. It's cold. When the cows come over here to drink, they get cold water, which helps keep their body temperature down. Because they do drink more, drink more water in the, in the summertime. But that water is super cold. And if we were to have a 120 or a 300 gallon tank or even, even a 50 gallon tank. If we had a 50 gallon tank there. The water's not going to cycle through that tank quick enough. And that water is going to be well over 100 degrees. And... I don't know about you, I'd rather have iced tea than to drink coffee on a hot summer day. You know, the, the iced tea is going to cool you off and that helps keep the cows cooled off as well. Now the way this works is, this 13 gallons in this tank, now if we were to keep it clear at the other end of the field and we had a, a fixed watering point and the whole herd went back, the whole herd wouldn't get water because they would come back, they would empty that, and then about half the herd would, would drag that tank out into the field and do all kinds of things with it because they didn't get enough water. And then, but we keep it in the paddock with them. It's within 200 feet, just one or two animals at a time. See, this girl here, she's coming up. Now she should, you know, just one or two animals come over here to drink it one time, and they're drinking cold water. You know, because whenever it comes out of the soil, or when it comes up out of the hydrant, right there's our hydrant we're hooked to. We have a 100-foot garden hose on there. 
that water cycles through there quicker and, and we get them cold water quick. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend. Those all help us in the ratings. It helps us out a great deal. And a couple new things for us here. We have a new merch store. So if you want to get a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something with the Wilson Land and Cattle logo on it, uh, slip on over there to the merch store and check that out. And then I'm going to put some links to some of the products that we use here on the farm. We use on a regular basis like the high flow valve that's in that tank it's less than 20 bucks right now i think the price fluctuates anywhere from 17 to 22 dollars on it depends on the price of brass at the time so it's it's a brass valve cost 39 cents to rebuild it um i can't say enough good about it so i'll have a link in the description for that as well and some of the other things that we use here on the farm on a regular basis Okay guys, we're going to head over to a section and talk a little bit more about a scenario for the shade. See you over there. And what we do is we'll physically move them, move the livestock back to shade if they need it for one rotation. Like if they need shade in the afternoon, we're going to physically move them back for maybe a couple hours into sh a shady area and then as soon as the temperatures start dropping again, we'll move them back out into the field. And the reason being for that is, and I've mentioned it a couple times before, we don't want to move all our soil nutrients out of our fields into our woods. It's just not the, the best idea to do, because then you're going to be looking for soil nutrients. Whenever you are out grazing, and you're going through the rotation on the farm, which I don't think you should have a set rotation on your farm. Your livestock should go wherever they're needed. Okay, so they just don't go through a, a, the fields like they're going through a maze. You know, if they're needed on one side of the farm, you graze that area. And then if they're needed on the other side of the farm, you take them to that area. So that's just my opinion on that. And the same goes for shade. Now, like this section here, there's trees in it. It's a good shady area. Um, now, we're early in the season yet, so we'll go ahead and graze that. I think the cows are going to be in here tomorrow. And part of this tomorrow. And then we're going to work this uh, fescue clover field off. And... Save, but, save very yeah. little areas like that or if you have a couple shade trees you know like likes there or if you have a shade tree out skip that section of the field and move back to it when if you need to and then another scenario that works out good is if you have shade on the western side of your fields you know, if you have a field that's got shade on the western side, save that for the hottest time of the year to graze. The cows will, uh, you know, graze and then they'll, they'll move down along the trees. Now, the, the one problem with that is, is they're going to eventually move, you know, over, I mean, lots and lots of years. They're going to move a lot of your nutrients from this side of the field to this side of the field if they're in there all the time and... and full sun hopefully you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment share with a friend check out our merch store check the link out in the description below we'll talk to you later have a wonderful day